Hello guys, welcome to BIMC Styling YouTube channel. My name is Abim Bola. So today's tutorial will be doing justice to this trendy overbust corset with an inner yoke. So this particular design was made by Right Touch Clothing. And today I'll be taking us through the process of how to achieve this particular design from the pattern drafting to the sewing tutorial. So on this channel, I have an overbust corset tutorial which I posted previously. And then in the comment section, lots and lots of my subscribers had a lot of questions to ask. Some persons were asking how we could go about fixing a yoke to the dress. Some persons asked if other fabric could be used. So I'll be doing justice to most of those questions asked previously. So sit back and watch this tutorial to the very end. Do well to also share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also turn on your notification so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. Now let's get right into it. So here I have all my needed materials. I have the marker pen, the curved ruler, straight ruler, tape ruler, scissors, and my pattern paper. And also here are the measurements that I'll be using for this draft. So on my pattern paper, I already marked out my starting point line. And from this line, I'll go ahead to take other measurements. I have my chest line, which is 9.5 inches. I have my bust point, 11 inches the under bust 15 inches and the half length is 18.5. So I'll go ahead to draw out my lines on each point which was marked. Now for my half length, which is 18.5 inches, I'll go ahead and mark my hip line. And for my half length to my hip line is nine inches. So that is what you see me calculating here. And then I marked it at that point. So nine inches from my half length is my hip line. So I'll go ahead now and draw out the straight line for the hip. So after getting these lines, do well to label the pattern, shoulder, the chest line, the bust point, under bust, my front half length, and my hip line. Now for my corset length, I will take five inches from the half length. That's from the front half length. I'll go down by five inches to get my corset length. So I'll mark that point and also draw my straight. So I went ahead to label that line the corset length. Now on my shoulder line, I'll go ahead to take my um, shoulder measurement divided by 2, which is 8. The shoulder I'm working with is 16. So divided by 2 is 8. I'll also take the same 8 inches mark on my chest line and connect both points together. For my shoulder slope, I came down by 1.5 inches and for my neck width, I took 3 inches and also for the neck depth, 3 inches. So that is 3 by 3 for the neck. That's the basic neck measurement. So I'll go ahead now to connect both points together with my curved ruler. That's my neckline connected with my curved ruler. And I also connect my neck width to my shoulder slope, the straight ruler. Now the bust span I'm working with is 8.5, so I'll go ahead to mark my bust span divided by 2, which is 4.25. I'll mark the 4.25 on my bust point and also at the corset length. And then I'll do well to connect both points together with my straight ruler. Now from my shoulder slope to my chest line, I'll get the midpoint of my armhole, which is 4 inches. And at that point, I'll go in by half an inch. And then on my chest line, I will take my bust divided by 4, which is 42 divided by 4, 10.5. So I'll mark that point on my chest line. I'll do well to connect the three points together from my bust on the chest line to the mid arm hole, then to the shoulder slope. Now we want to go into the tightening of this pattern. So for the underbust tightening, I did a 0.75 to the left and 1.25 to the right that's 0.75 to the left and 1.25 to the left hand side so now now on my corset length from the center front i came in by one inch so i took one inch from that point now i will go ahead to measure what i have as my underbust tightening and then I'll bring it back to the corset length. Starting from the one inch, I will take the exact measurements I have at my underbust. So I have two inches at my underbust. So I marked the same two inches at that point. So I'll go ahead now to draw my slanted line for the corset pattern. 
So I'm connecting both sides of the dart leg to the corset length. So I'm connecting both points together. Now I'll connect my bust point to my under bust tightening. I'll connect the two points together and also connect it on the other side. That's from the under bust connected back to my bust point using my curved ruler for both sides. At the waistline, I'll go in by 0.2. That's at the waistline. I'll go in by 0.2. Now, at the 0.2 mark, I'll connect it back to my under bust. I'll connect it. Just look at how I placed my curved ruler. I'll connect it from that 0.2 back to my under bust. And also from my 0.2 mark on the half length, that's the waistline, I'll connect it back to my corset length. So I'll flip the curved ruler over to the other side and connect it back. So this means that um, I don't want a straight line for the style line for this um, overbust corset. And so the next thing I will do is to replace the 0.2 that was taken. The 0.2 that was taken will be replaced on the other dart leg. So I'll mark a 0.2 from my dart leg inward. I'll mark 0.2 and then on my corset length also on the same dart leg we are working on I'll go out by 0.2 so the essence of this is 0.2 on that part that's on the corset length part is to tighten that area it is to further tighten that area of our corset blouse so I hope we get all of this analysis first I took 0.2 on the left hand side of our dart leg and connected it back to the under bust and also to the corset length. Then the next thing I did was to replace the 0.2 that was taken on the half length on the other side of the dart leg. And then at the corset length, I also went out by another 0.2 to tighten our blouse, to tighten the over bust corset blouse at that end. So that's the reason for doing this. And also because I don't want a straight line for my star line. Now I will highlight the part that we just worked on. And this will be the new dart leg for this overbust corset. So I will do well to highlight it and uh, make it visible. Now I will shape in the sides of our pattern so that the bust dart can be added. Now on my half length, I will take the waist measurement divided by 4 and mark it. So that's my original waist. I will further check what I have at my dart intake and also add it up to the side and mark what I have. Also on the hip line, I'll go ahead to take my hip measurement divided by 4 and mark that point. And also check what I have as the dart intake at that point and I would also mark what I have there. I'll go ahead now and connect all of these points together. That's from the chest line, the bust measurement connected to the waist. And also from the waist, I'll connect it back to the hip. Now, before connecting my points, remember that this is a corset blouse. So I need to snatch my waist. And what I'll be taking out of my waist here is one inch. So from my original waist, which I earlier marked, I went in by one inch. So that is what you see me mark at that point. So now I'll be connecting the snatched waist. That is the one inch we came in at the waistline. I'll be connecting the snatched waist with my marker pen to the bust like so. And I'll also connect my um, waist back to the hip. So my curved ruler was not properly placed. So I had to do a little more adjustment at that point. From my bust point now, I'll come down by two inches which is the difference between my front length and my back length. That's my front length and my back length. The difference is 2 inches. My front length is 18.5, while my back length is 16.5. So the 2 inches will serve as my bust dart. So I connected it back to the bust point. Now let's get the back before we transfer our dart and get to finish up with our front pattern. So what I did was to check my uh, measurements on the hip line and I had 13.5. Um, so I'll be adding extra 1 inch to the 13.5 which I got on the hip line and um, that will make it 14.5. 
now from the front hip i'll be taking the 14.5 and then i'll mark it on the other side of my pattern paper now that i've marked the 14.5 i'll be extending it upward towards the shoulder line so this line will serve as my center back now i'm done um, extending the line and then i'll go ahead to label that part the cb which is the center back i'll go ahead now to extend my chest line coming from the front pattern i'll extend that line to the back and then i also marked out my back half length which is 16.5 the front half length is 18.5 the back is 16.5 so that was what i marked at this point so for my back half length i also do well to come down by five inches which will serve as the corset length just the same way we did for the front to get the corset length so i'll go ahead now to rule out that point and also label the lines now on the chest line and also on the shoulder line i went ahead to take my shoulder divided by two and ruled it for the back shoulder slope i came down by one inch and for the back neckline i did three inches width by one inch depth now i'll connect my um, shoulder slope to my neck width I also get my mid arm hole and go in by half an inch from that point and on my chest line I'll take my bust divided by 4 which is 10.5 and then I'll mark it at that point and I'll connect all the three points together to get my arm hole. Now on the back half length I went ahead to take the waist divided by 4 which is 9 inches and then connected it back to my bust. I took the original waist here. And connected it back to my bust and on the hip I went ahead to take the hip measurement divided by 4 and I'll go ahead now to connect my waist to my hip I also went ahead to draw out my neckline for the back now let's get back to the front pattern to finish up now for the overbust tightening I went ahead to get um, the midpoint of my shoulder line and then getting the midpoint I marked that point and I will connect that point, the midpoint, to my bust point. Now slash open from the shoulder to the bust point. Now I need to close the bust that. But before doing that, I need to also separate the front and the back. So I slashed open midway. And then I will go ahead now to close up my dart. After closing the bust darts, we need to reshape that part. And so what I will do is to go in by half an inch. At the chest line, I will go in by half an inch. And then I will connect it back to the waist. So why do we need to go in by half an inch? This is so that that part won't be opening. So that we don't have excess on that part. And so when you are done with the overbust corset, you will not have that part opening up. So I'm using a different um, marker pen. <laughs> To highlight that part next is to do the overbust tightening now we'll be doing the overbust tightening and also determine the shape of our neckline so for the overbust tightening we need to get the cleavage depth now we need to get the cleavage depth this cleavage depth depends on how deep or how high you want it to be so from the bust point I came up by half an inch that is how deep I want it to be. You could also do the same or if you don't want it that deep, you could go up more than half an inch or you could even come down below the points which I marked. So for the cleavage depth, it depends on where you want it to get to. Some persons can do seven. It all depends on you anyway. So this will determine how deep the center front of your overbust corset will be. So for me, I'm working with the half inch I came up at the bust point. So now, I want us to picture the particular neckline we are trying to achieve. So it's something like this. It has a sharp edge and comes down back into the armhole. So this is what we are trying to achieve. And so we will need to draw out the basic neckline. Yes, the shape we are trying to achieve, we'll draw it out first. And to do that, I'll need to open up our bust that which we actually closed earlier. So this is the reason why I used uh, a pin to hold it down. So I'll open it up back 
and then I'll go ahead to draw out my neckline the shape that I want so here I was actually thinking of using either half inch or one inch but at the end of the day I actually went for one inch so I didn't I came up by one inch instead of the half inch I earlier told us so this is exactly what I was explaining the cleavage depth actually depends on you there's no formula to determining how the depth will be it's all in your shoes to do that so know that you can do any neckline any depth of your choice now that I've concluded on my center front neckline depth I also need to determine the other sharp edge so I'm making use of the mid arm hole but then at the mid arm hole, I'll also go in by half an inch. I'll go in by half an inch. This is because it's actually a tube, an overboss corset, but this time around, it's a tube. Assuming you want to use um, your yoke, your direct yoke, you are sewing it directly on it, then you can make use of the exact arm hole that we earlier um, drafted. But because this is a tube overbust corset, I came in at the arm hole by half an inch. And then at the bust point, I came up by one inch. And I'm connecting the two points together like so. I hope we get that. Now that I've drawn out my basic neckline for this um, overbust corset, I'll go ahead to do my overbust tightening, which is a 0.75 on both sides of the dart leg now i'm actually working with the neckline that i drew i'm working with that shape i'm working with that line so i i measured a 0.75 to the right and also a 0.75 to the left and then i connected the points back to my bust point so that is what you see me doing here now after using my ruler that um bust point seems pointy so I need to blend it in with my curved ruler. So I'm trying to get the perfect um, part to use in blending in that part. So I'm done um, shaping and blending in that part. I'll go ahead to measure what I have as my dart leg there. From the boss point to the point where the dart actually ends. I'll take the measurement and whatever I have, I will note it. And also take it to the other dart leg. So I'm taking the exact measurement. I'm taking the exact measurement I have on the on the right side. I'm taking that measurement on the left side. This is so that we don't have any form of shortage when we are sewing up our um, fabric together. So um, you can also do well to fold your dart legs like the way I am doing. If you don't want to go through the um, first method that I showed you, that's taking the measurement of the other dart leg and also replacing it on that side. So you can fold up your dart legs like so and match them up together so you could get the exact measurements for both. So you can see that the part which I marked is the exact point where the two of them meet. So if you are taking the measurement the right way and you also use this method, they should meet at the same point. So now I'll open up my darts and then on that point, I will go ahead to blend in my um, overbust um, darts. Now I'll blend it in into the bust point. So I've been able to through my darts like so. So next I would now blend in from that point into my cleavage depth. Yes, I will now blend it in like so. So we have been able to achieve the curved part for the center front. Now we need to work on the other side, which is the arm hole side. So I observed that after throwing my darts, um, the pointy side does, doesn't look too pointy anymore. So I further went up by half an inch and I ensured I took the half an inch inward on the arm hole. So I extended that point. So this also depends on you. How pointy you want that side to be. It depends on you. So I went ahead to extend my. So that I have a more pointy edge at that point. And then I blended it into my overbust um, darts. Now remember that we came in by half an inch on the chest line. So on that half an inch point I also go up by half an inch. This is because this is a tube. So that you have a firm arm hole. 
so that you don't have excess on that part so that that part does not open up after sewing your fabric together you need to take all of this um, measurements that I have shown you in this pattern so go up by half an inch from the very point where you came in by half an inch and once you have done that connect it back to the sharp point so you have created your new armhole for this overbust corset I hope we understand now for the front yoke because it's an inner yoke I'll be tracing out from my underbust so i went ahead to place my plain pattern paper on the um drafted pattern and i also secured the two pattern papers together now for the inner yoke i'll be tracing from my underbust so i went ahead to highlight my underbust part of this pattern so that we understand where exactly i'm starting from so the first part I traced is my underbust line. So I went ahead to trace my underbust. Next, I traced my bust point line. And then I also traced my chest line. And also my bust dart. I traced my bust dart as well. Now for the side, I started from my underbust. And I traced that line from the underbust upward to the chest line like so. When I got to the chest line, I traced out my original armhole. Just look at the part where I'm tracing. I traced out my original armhole like so, down to my shoulder slope. And also, so for this pattern, we already have the basic neckline, which is 3 by 3. But for the turtle neck, I'll be using 2.5 by 2.5. Remember that that dress is actually as a turtle neckline. So I did 2.5 by 2.5 for the total neckline and then I'll go ahead to connect the two points together. And I'll also blend in the shoulder from the 2.5 inches mark. I'll blend it into my shoulder and so I'll go ahead now to trace my um, new neckline. I'll trace the shoulder line to my shoulder slope and I'll also trace out my new neckline like so so now we are done tracing i will now take out the um plain paper beneath and then and then i'll use my marker pen to draw out all the lines that we traced so this is what my inner yoke looks like for the front so back to our pattern so i'll go ahead now and cut out my pattern starting from the center front and following through the curved line that we created at the center front part so I'll cut out that piece. Now, pay close attention to this part. Remember that we also have this curve created on the other dark leg. So I'll place, I'll go ahead now and place the center front, which I just cut out. I'll match them up together. The waist, the corset length, the underbust, I'll match them up together. Following that curve that we created from the underbust through to the corset length. So I'll pin it down. Now that I have it pinned down, I'll go ahead now and um, extend my center front line. Extend that line, that center front. I'll extend the line with my marker pen. I'll come down like so with a straight ruler. Now on that extended line, I'll take one inch. I'll mark one inch like so. So what we are trying to create here is the bohemian curve at the M of that overbust corset. The bohemian curve that is what we are trying to create so i'm trying to use my pencil to get that shape before i finally use my marker pen so what i'm doing what you see me doing now is to get the shape the bohemian curved shape for this overbust corset so i'm following through using my free hand to get the exact curve that i want so you need to take your time to create this curve um do well to use your free hand to create the shape that you want at that point so i'm trying to use my marker pen to highlight the curve that i created so i went in like so and then connected it from that um one inch point back into my hip line so i connected it back into my hip line to get the bohemia curve for this overbust corset so after shaping my curve, this is what I have at the end. So note how I will cut through this pattern. Starting from the center front, I will cut through like so. 
and then I went ahead to tape down that part. Yes, so our center front has been extended by one inch. Remember, we came down by one inch at that point. So now I'll cut through the curve like that, following through the curve I created down to my hip line like so. So after doing that, I'll take out my pin and then I'll also cut out my center front like so. So I'm trying to detach that one inch from that part. So this is it. I've separated my center front. Now I will cut through the curved line that we have from the corset length down to my underbust, and then and then I'll follow through all the lines and cut out my um, side front piece for this overbust pattern. So that is what you see me doing. Follow through your lines and gently cut out the patterns. So for the chest a chest line area, I also cut out from the half inch. We went up and also went in. So this is what so this is what it looks like after cutting out. Now for the back, the first thing I did was to snatch my waist by one inch. Remember that the waist we have here is the original waist for the back. So I went in by one inch, the same one inch that we used on the front pattern. The next thing to do after taking your one inch is to also go in on the chest line by half inch and also the same way we um, went up by half inch on the chest line, go up by half inch for the back also. The same thing that was done on the front pattern, we need to repeat the same thing here. So go in by half inch and also go up by half inch and connect it back to your snatched waist like so. Now, I'll get my front pattern, that's the side front, and then I'll match up my side. That's my side front, I'll match it up with my um, side back. So the next thing now is to trace out the shape, the shape we have from the front pattern. I'll go ahead and trace it out like so, and then connect it back to the waist. And then I'll also trace it to the M line. And also following through, I'll trace it into the bohemian curve that we created for the front pattern. And then getting to the corset length area, I will stop. I'll stop and take out my pattern. That's the side front. Now I will blend it in from that point into the corset length for the back. So this is what I have after blending in. So I'll go ahead now to highlight with my marker pen. Now for my um back chest line area. I will go ahead to take it up. If we look at the design by um, Right Touch Clothing, she actually took up that part. That part is going up. So this is also good for especially plus size people who doesn't want their folded back revealing after snatching. So you can actually do this. Or if you also want to um, come down from the chest line, you can do well to take one inch at that point and connect it back to your arm hole like so but for me for this particular pattern this is what i'm using now for my back opening uh, for from the corset length i came in by 1.5 and on my chest line i took two inches mark and so i'll connect the two points together from the corset length taking it upward into the particular point where my um, back actually stops and this part will be the part for my eyelids. Now, for the back um, yoke, we need to get our front yoke. This is the front yoke. So I'll go ahead now and measure what we have at the side front. So I'll take my tape rule and measure what we have from the side front. So from this point, I have about 1.5. Coming down from the um, bust point, I have 3.5 inches in total for the side so i'll go ahead to take the same 3.5 at this point the same thing you have for your side for the front will be taken for the side at the back so i made a mistake here the measurement is actually supposed to start from the chest line not from the half inch we went up at the chest line so this is what i'm trying to correct so i took the measurement from the chest line coming down by 3.5 inches which also matches up with the side for the front so i'll go ahead now to rule that line like so i'm using my pencil so that we will not confuse the um, lacing bar parts of the back 
to the inner yoke part so now i'll go ahead to also trace out the yoke for the back so i'm using the same pattern paper used for the front i'll place my back um pattern on the plain paper like so and also pin it down so i'm starting um to trace the line from the 3.5 inches we came down at the side straight to the center back now because there will be a zipper at the back of this inner yoke we need to do our back tightening so from the half length i actually did a 0.75 back tightening from the half length and then i connected the 0.75 back tightening to my neckline with a straight ruler like so now i'll continue tracing into my um back tightening and then i'll follow through the back tightening line like so down to my neckline region getting to my neck um uh, neckline i also went ahead to trace out from the side back now i'm tracing out the um original side back not the um um what is it called the snatched side and then following through the original arm hole as well so for my back neckline i went ahead to take the 2.5 inches that we also took at the front so and then i connected it back into my one inch like so so i connected the one inch into the 2.5 and also went ahead to blend in my shoulder slope from the 2.5 inches neck width into the shoulder slope like so so now that that is done i'll go ahead and proceed with my tracing i'll trace out the shoulder line and also do well to trace out my neck line like so so with this we have traced the um, back in our you now i'll go ahead to trace out what we actually have for the back yoke so this is it we have the shoulder slope the arm hole the neckline and all the parts traced out and this is our back yoke the next thing i will do now is to cut out the other piece for my back pattern and so this is what you see me cutting through following through the uh, snatched waist into our chest line and all the parts the back opening every part will cut out so here is my front and my back pattern for the overbust corset and i went ahead to also transfer every of my pattern piece to fabric so so guys if you got value watching today's tutorial kindly hit on the like button like this video also share with your friends subscribe to this channel turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new tutorial so the next video i'll be uploading will be the sewing tutorial of this overbust corset and guys it promises to be well detailed and every step-by-step -step process will be documented for everyone thank you all for staying tuned to the end i'll see you all in my next video bye